because they will keep on haggling. Okay, is this halal or not? We have to have a common reference. And in the area of pharmaceuticals, since it's very highly uh, controlled uh, enterprise, the, the feature that is very important is that we must have the reference standard. So currently, even in Malaysia, we don't have what we call this reference standard called the pharmacopoeia. But we are trying to propose to the world that we are good, not going to produce a Malaysian pharmacopoeia, but a halal pharmacopoeia. Meaning, say, it's a compilation of monographs of products, of compounds that is halal. And later on, we don't have any uh, problems for the people who are going to supply these materials. We tell them that you just, com you just uh, comply with what is found in the halal uh, pharmacopoeia, then when you produce them according to the MS2424, according to good manufacturing practice, which, uh, good manufacturing practice that is uh, in the halal, uh, uh, what do you call, compliance, then inshallah you get the halal product. Well, it's meant for the world. In fact, uh, we have got the E version, the internet version. And uh, basically, we want to tell the, the, the world that we are looking for alternatives, halal alternatives. Yeah. We're looking for the halal alternatives. And uh, people will ask, what is the halal alternatives? Then we tell them, look, we have already itemized and described them and have the reference uh, number and details inside this book. And of course, uh, when we refer to it and they have their product which is similar to this, then of course it's a no-no because that product is non-halal, it is pig-based. And you find that inside here there's about 53 of such compounds and meaning you say that for the world at large and the public, uh, if they have such compounds in their preparation, then it's a no-no for us. And we also have given alternatives. You know? Alternatives in, set, in the sense that you can get the alternatives from halal sources. Okay, okay. Uh, any other question? It's very closely related because, as I've mentioned earlier, that the farm school industry is a very highly regulated industry. Every step they do, every product, every raw material have to have a document. And that document, of course, has to have the authentication and also the authority to make sure that it is, it is uh, authentic, it's pure, and it complies to the standard. So if the document is a halal document, then you can be rest assured that if it complies with the compound or the product that you want to produce, complies with the standard, then uh, you can assure that the, the product is halal or the raw material is halal. halal. Yes? Means when auditors are checking some pharmaceutical products, they can use that book as a reference to decide is some, that something is allowed or not? Is yes or no? Well, uh, usually when uh, auditors, they will refer to an uh, authorized version. Currently, this is yet to be authorized by any, any establishment. This is a private sector individual uh, enterprise. <coughs> uh, we are telling the authorities that, look, you have to do something <laughs> because the UMA is crying for it. And it's high time for them to to get these things uh, authorized and to be endorsed as an official document. So I think that's the only way. Okay, okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, any other questions? Yes, it is available online. In fact, uh, you go into Google, Halal Index, you can see. Yes, they have the e-version. Of course, with uh, 
with uh, what do you call <laughs> some sub some sub subscription. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Any other question before we close? All right. Oh, one more. Okay, from Halal Journal. Second question. All right. Volume two is the grey list. Okay. Um, the grey list is actually those which, if they conform to the the what do you call the the standards. For example, animals not slaughtered, they are put in there. But if they are slaughtered, then they can transfer into the green list. Uh, yes. So. But these are, uh, when it's started, there's halal. Yeah? And then, for example, some uh, alcohol products, for example, if they can fulfill the requirements of uh, these products to be halal, then they can go into the green list. Yeah. 